The Reef's Triple Five Servo. As awesome as this servo is, insane torque. The first versions that were out and all that, they had titanium coated aluminum gears. This was done pretty much to save the motors. Now, the newest versions, they come with steel gears, these right here. The reason? Well, you can strip out the gears in a Reef's Triple Five. So I'm gonna show you guys how to put these in and take Grimlock 3 out for a drive. So yeah, time to upgrade that Reef Servo. Triple Five steel gear replacement set. Right here, it's got seals, all kinds of stuff. So that's gonna go into here. I've already got this loose. Now, the reason I'm making this video is that most of your normal servos, you just take the screws out the back right there and just take everything apart. Well, this, the gear case actually bolts onto the top. So I'm gonna take those out and those use a small Phillips head. So I'm gonna get those loose and see what's under this cover. So there are your four screws and there are your gears. I'll have these out so you can see a little bit more in detail. But yeah, you should be able to tell that those gears are fried. Now these gears here actually look okay. You can see the metal shavings right there. Now the new kit does come with new bearings, which, which is probably a good thing because those are probably contaminated with uh, metal shards. To get the bearing out of the case, I use a small flathead screwdriver, very gently alternating sides, one and two, back and forth to slide this bearing off. When you get that bearing off, that first gear comes out pretty easy. Remember this on reassembly. You don't want to put the bearing and all back on without that gear right there in place. Now for this, you usually just kind of press on something and then the gears will kind of come on out. There you go, there's one. And then that gear right there, yep, it's gonna come right on off too. And here is the issue on the output gear. Yep, those teeth are gone. Let's see here. Yeah, probably some damage. Yep, you can see some teeth gone right there. Very gently and take your time. You got to get that bearing out right here. Okay, now to get that out, I mean, one of the easiest ways for me just get a screwdriver right here, catch that lip, and just kind of give it a few light taps. Nothing heavy, but you don't want to distort the seat where the bearing is, or actually bust the bearing. If you bust a bearing, then that outer race is a disaster to get out. You could really tear some stuff up. So just take your time, nice and easy, a few little taps on each side. If you stick something through here and try to wobble it out, with this being a metal case, I don't know. I, won't, I, don't, I don't really trust that, so I'm just going to go with it my way the bearing came out without much issue at all i just simply used a screwdriver that tip and a vitavon hammer haha <laughs> these are capper weights uh, for the portal covers and they're due to be going on the uh optimus 3 truck for some tuning so yeah the vitavon also makes hammers with the gears out of the case you can look at it and it looks okay but you can also look a little closer and you can actually see there is still bits of metal so take your time, again, take your time, clean everything out. Now don't try to use any solvent or any of that stuff because you probably get into your motor bearings down in there and you really don't want that. With everything cleaned up, it's time to open up the just-in-case gear set. The old gear is up top, the new steel gear is down bottom. Now you can tell just by looking at the gears, there is a bit of a difference and that's good because that means these are a lot stronger. Now, these new gears are a tiny bit heavier because, well, they are steel. Putting the new gears in place, you gotta put that first gear down there and then the pin. The kit comes with new pins, so I am swapping both of those out. Up next is gonna be the bearing to go right over there. Getting the bearing in place takes a little bit of patience. Now, it fits on there pretty darn tight. So what I did was I used a bearing, a uh, pinion gear with a five millimeter bore right there. And then I just used a, a, not a hammer, but the screwdriver and just kind of tapped it around like this right here. And I was able to work it right all the way down. So, you know, you don't want to take pliers and get on the outside edges and try to just crank this down because 
Then you could actually bust the balls. You could bust the races, the uh, internal cage, which holds the balls in place. You don't want to do that because you'll just ruin the bearing. So take your time. As far as lubrication goes, I'm using this right here. I don't know if this is any better than any other grease, but I'm also putting a little bit into the bearings and the, gre the gears are actually going to get a little bit of this as well. Gears are going in perfectly. What I didn't show you is I did lubricate the actual pins. So make sure you lubricate these, especially the bottom one down here. That one's going to get a little bit more grease than usual. I mean, it's probably going to sling off because that gear spins really fast. But anyway, you know, at least I know it does have some lube in there. You're going to want to take your time, make sure that pin is in there correctly. And then it's time for this gear right here. There we go. And that is your gear setup right there. Now I'm just simply going to add a little more lube to it and then put the O-ring in place. I will show you guys that. And then we're going to give it a test. Just wanted to show you guys it is very well lubed. It got the new bearing in the top piece. So that went in uh, pretty well. It was a little bit snug, but you know, it got into place and it's obviously lubed up. So now it's time to assemble that once I put the O-ring on. Well, let's listen to this. The other creaking noise is my radio. Servo sounds perfect. And it's ready to go right back in so we can take Grimlock out for a drive. Quick test. Now we can go outside. All right, let's see what we've got here. You can see that Raw 500 in the front. It is blisteringly fast. But I don't really like that much speed in a rear steer servo. See if I can make this corner right here. Looks like I'm going to get it. Piece of cake. I don't know that I've ever even tried this climb with Grimlock. I'm not even sure if Grimlock can get it. I mean, you would think it would, but I don't know. I'm going to have to see here. I think it will. <laughs> Let me get my steering situated back around. There we go. First time I've ever tried that climb with Grimlock 3.
Wow, this thing is nice. <laughs> there we go. I was hoping I'd be able to get that climb like that. I want to try something a little different here. Not bad. Let's see if I can come off of this. Aha! <laughs> nice save! <laughs> that was all luck. Nothing but luck. <laughs> so guys the fix was pretty easy hopefully i showed all that if you happen to have this issue with yours now the like i mentioned the new triple fives they come with all steel gears they come with the gears that i just upgraded this one to so yeah should not have that issue at all and it's just something about an awesome well-performing four-wheel steering truck. <sighs> Grimlock. That's one main truck. I should also say Grimlock 3. Because Grimlock 1 was alive until, I guess, about a month ago. It was finally parts were moved around and kind of took the Grimlock status away from it. Grimlock 2 is alive and well. So, anyway, I know there's still two of them out there. Guys, check that description for links, eBay, Amazon. They are affiliate links. If you have something in your cart on either of those, click any of my links, go to that site, whatever's in your cart, and just check out with it. Simple as that. Doesn't matter what's in your cart. As long as you click a link to go and check out, it counts. Every little bit helps. I've also got a Teesprings account. I've got some shirts and all that. I'll, I'll put a link down there for that for you guys and also channel memberships. I also offer that and what I can do for that usually is just show you guys videos before they release. Usually it's a day, you know. The only time I can't do that is I'm literally uploading the morning of. Usually I upload a day or two in advance and try to get the links and all that stuff taken care of. Well, all that takes time. It's not just you know, video this, send it up, and hey, there it is. No, there's more to it once it's uploaded. Anyway, guys, check that description, click the links, and thank you all for watching. If you guys like the channel and want to help it out a little bit, you can click that join button and actually become a channel member. Members get special privileges, maybe even some member giveaways. So make sure you check that out, and as always, subscribe like and share thank you guys for watching